Hello friends. Welcome all to another interesting session on SQL Server incremental statistics. First, we will try to know what is this incremental statistics and how it is different than the traditional update statistics. With this, let's get started with the presentation on this topic. What is this incremental statistics? Now, starting with SQL Server 2014, Microsoft offered another great feature called incremental statistics. If you need to update the statistics on a very large table with a full scan mode, it may take forever to finish. Due to that reason, it diminishes the performance and also client confidence reduces because being a DBA, he cannot actually understand by any way how long it will take to finish. I mean the update statistics. Keeping that as an area of concern, uh, Microsoft introduced this feature and uh, through this partitions will be created on the and uh, through this partitions will be created in the tables and uh, whichever partition we want we can just run the update stats on that partition alone previous all versions didn't have the flexibility and instead that the only choice which was available was nothing but to run a full scan which is obviously we know it, it takes a very long time with this let's move on to a demo session to explain this feature well i have actually a database at the left hand side you can see with the name as incremental stats demo 2017 it's actually empty you can see there's no table or procedures nothing is there so what i'm going to do I'll go inside the database using the use fun, uh, use query. It will change the context of the database. And then I need to create the partition function. So yes, you are right. This is the same way we create a table partition, basically. Incremental statistics is nothing but an extension to that. So before we start, we need to understand what will be the column data type on which we want to create the partition function because that data type is very important. If you are feeding the data, we, if you know it's an integer, then use integer. If you know what chart, probably use that. So that's how the logic is. And then I've used a range of left. If you want, you can use the right also. So what I want, the table which I have I'm going to create, that will be regarded with the four buckets or partitions basically. And I have given a range of values. So 5,000 up to 5,000, then from 5,001 till 11,400, like that the bucket will be created. So let's create that. However, even though we create, it doesn't mean that it will create a table here because we have not yet created anything. So you cannot spot out what exactly happened here. The next step is we have to create a partition scheme. So you can choose any name, whatever you like it, but you have to mention after as partition, the partition which you have created in the here. So you have to use the same name. And then whatever the bucket count you have mentioned or partition count, you have to make that number plus one. So, so that the bucket range will be easily decided. So if you give five, it should be six. So let's create that. By the way, if you give a different name, let's say here, which doesn't really present, it will throw you an error. You can see that. So it says invalid object name this because it doesn't really present, but it will work now. See, it's created. However, if you refresh it here, you cannot see anything here because no table, as I said, is created already. Now I'm creating a table. As I said, I'm going to choose the customer ID as the column and it is an integer. So I selected that as an integer there and few other columns basically. So those all details I have taken from uh, the database uh, Adventure Work 2014 sales and customer. So let's go there. If you scroll down, you can see this table. I'm using this table as a reference. So excluding the computed column, I have used pretty much all the other columns. So I'm creating this table in the same database which I created for the purpose of demo. But you have to, in, in, in the normal case, what you do, you have to mention the file group where you're doing, but in, instead you have to mention the scheme name 
whatever is created here and the column at the same time in brackets so let's go ahead and create it so it's created now if we come to the database and if we refresh then we can see the database which is created now the next step is populating the records so from the same table which i shown you it has i, I think it's more than 31000 records i'm inserting the records where it is less than 10000 the customer id so let's go ahead and insert so it's actually inserted 701 rows now let's see using the partition table how the split of the records are so let's move it up and you can see that 701 records which are populated those are all sitting in the first partition other partitions are completely empty there's no data because i have not yet used this function to split the records okay the next step is i'm creating the statistics so this is the same syntax which we have used for the regular uh, the regular statistics only difference being it should be incremental equals to on because we are turning on the incremental statistics feature okay now let's so now if you expand it and if you come to statistics it's empty so let's go ahead and create it so it's created let's refresh it's actually created okay now let's move on with the show contig now if you right click and come to the properties you can see that this is the uh, the it's in a GUI fashion if you come to details you can see the details of the indexes which we are going to see here so now if you run this command like show uh, show statistics and then statistics name uh, the table name and comma and with a comma the statistics name with histogram you can see the same GUI data whatever was shown uh, in the GUI screen right so you can see 200 rows are actually populated but if you see the row counts the values are very very small you can see one two three it's a very tiny numbers now what I'm doing I'm inserting the remaining records from this table to this table but here the customer ID are greater than 10,000. So in the previous step, I inserted the records which are less than 10,000. I'm from more than 10,000 till the end. So let us insert all the record. So you can see 19,119 records are inserted. Now let us see with the same sys partition table what is that so yes the data has been split you can see based on the bucket condition we have mentioned right but now from 200 records it came up to just five because we have created the five entries before with this if you want to see do a update statistics now now you can see that if you want to do an update statistics you can easily do by giving specific partitions where you want so let us run that with a time statistics the function on so you can see it's actually 121 milliseconds so let us copy that by the way it will continue to change in your in your machine it will be different in my machine it will be different and now we will run the same command but with a full scan we are not restricting that with any partition number so let us execute and then you can see now it is actually taking more time so if you compare that you can easily see that the elapsed time has been increased from 120 it's actually 150 now you can ask me that it's not a big number then why should i go with because the table doesn't have that many records right if you have a millions of record definitely you can see a comprehensive difference in the performance um, and then we just have few more steps so now i'm going to again show you the histogram entry so you can just see from 200 it just came up to six okay and that to the split is like this so now if you right click here and come to the properties come to details you can see the same changes right whatever you can see now the density of the indexes and finally just run the command but ensure you enable the actual execution plan why i'm showing that because if you come to execution plan you can see it's a table scan because i have not created any indexes yet it's empty but the interesting part is 
actual number of rows equals to 1 and then estimated number of rows that is also that is also 1 that means actual and estimated number of records are actually matching which is what we basically want so you can see a little variation though estimated number of rows it says 1.000354 which is equivalent to 1 but theoretically these are very close the more the actual and estimated records are matched that means you have a good statistics your sql server is using the proper statistics function to find the correct route for the data right and the last step is in this demo if you want to delete let's say if you don't like the partition scheme or function you cannot do so you can see there is an error let's say if you try this too then also it's an error so first you have to drop the table and then only you have to delete these two function and the scheme respectively otherwise it doesn't allow all right so with this let's go back to um, the summary page in our discussion so with this what we have found is in order to create the incremental statistics we need a partition table without the partition making the table partition we cannot proceed so now if you know in your environment by any cost you cannot create the partition in the table then you cannot implement this uh, the feature so you have to know about this few limitations there are many others though but um, a few which i found may be useful is statistics created with indexes that are not partition allowed with the base table so if you're trying to create a statistics with indexes that are not partition alert you cannot use the incremental statistics because whenever you create indexed another system generated statistics will be created but if that index is not aligned to the partition which we have discussed then you cannot run the update statistics with incremental on feature or you cannot you cannot run through selective bucket because that will not allow basically the second is statistics created on always on readable secondary databases now that's natural because the databases are read only it will not allow us to do any activity the third point is also the same statistics created on read only databases it doesn't allow because it's anyway it's a read only it doesn't matter uh, with always on db or a regular db the fourth point is statistics created on internal tables or on views that is also not allowed fifth point is statistics created on spatial indexes or xml indexes that is also not allowed and the last point is statistics created on filter indexes that is also for now not allowed few of the uh, useful references page you can always hook on to those sites for more details if you like i'll mention them these details into the description section uh, right below the video you can get those details and finally thanks for watching at the end if you like the video please go ahead subscribe um, share with your friends and also do comment um, if you like any other videos definitely i'll try to present them uh, with a demo or with any other subject if you like please do comment and also let me know how you like the video um, and thanks for watching